in this video we will see the theoretical relation for caudal thickness and caudal addendum with respect to gears in gears we will see how to measure caudal thickness and caudal addendum so the diagram i have already drawn in order to derive the relation you can see here this black color circle is nothing but the pitch circle usually uh, along the pitch circle only we will measure the gear to thickness so this horizontal line a d a b this a b is nothing but caudal thickness and uh, this caudal thickness should be measured at a distance of d from top land so that d is nothing but caudal addendum so we'll try to derive the relation for caudal thickness and caudal addendum now okay so before that you should know what is module module and then this theta is nothing but 360 divided by 4 times of number of gears that will give us 90 by n in addition to that we should know what is module model is nothing but the diameter of the pitch circle by number of teeth so with this relation we can easily derive the theoretical formula for caudal thickness and caudal addendum okay so let's see the derivation now caudal thickness is nothing but a b so a b is nothing but two times a d from the figure you can see okay now in order to find out what is a d we will use a triangle a d o okay so i'll uh, draw the triangle separately here one second i have drawn the triangle separately a d o you can see here this is a d o this angle is theta which we have already found it is 90 by n okay from this triangle apply sine sine theta is nothing but opposite by hypotenuse so it will be a d by o a so a d will become o a into sine theta if you see the diagram o a is nothing but the radius so it can be replaced as r sin theta okay so we know theta we have already found it found out as sin uh, 90 by n 90 by n. so i have replaced theta by 90 uh, replace theta by 90 by n now we know w is equal uh, w that is omega that is sorry the notation for caudal thickness is omega that is 2 ad so it will become 2 into r sin 90 by n okay so now we will bring the relation for model model as we have seen it is diameter by number of teeth we can write it as 2r by n okay so m is equal to 2r by n so r will become m n by 2 so substitute this r value in this caudal thickness value cardinal thickness relation so cardinal thickness will become now 2 times mn by 2 sin 90 by n so this is the theoretical relation for finding the caudal thickness caudal thickness so it depends upon module number of teeth okay so if you know the number of teeth and module you can easily find the caudal thickness so next we will find we will derive the relation for caudal addendum so caudal addendum from the picture we can see that this d is nothing but caudal addendum so d can be written as this is o this center point is c okay d can be written as oc minus od d can be written as oc minus od from the diagram so I am writing D is equal to OC minus OD. OC, let us find out what is the relation for OC from the diagram. OC is nothing but OE 
plus addendum oe plus addendum addendum we know it is a radial distance from the radial distance along this uh, along this okay up to top land from this pitch circle to this top land the that radial distance we call it as addendum so we are replacing ocs oe plus addendum oe plus addendum so it will become oe plus m m is nothing but addendum module so oe if you see the diagram oe it is nothing but radius okay so radius so we'll write it as r plus m next we know what is r from the previous relation m1 by 2 so write it as m1 by 2 plus m so this is the relation for oc next we have to find out what is od now to find out od i am taking a triangle a d o same triangle a d o this is theta now apply cos in this triangle cos theta will be adjacent by hypotenuse it is od by o a so od will become o a cos theta or cos theta o a as we have seen it is the radius so it is r cos theta or we can write it as n m by 2 cos theta od will be n m by 2 cos instead of theta we can write it as 90 by n we have found out od and oc from that we can easily find out what is d small d which is nothing but caudal addendum oc minus od just substitute that nm by 2 plus m that is the relation for oc minus od is nothing but nm by 2 cos 90 by n in this you take nm by 2 common circle 1 plus 2 by n minus cos 90 by n so you can see this d caudal addendum, caudal addendum also depends upon number of teeth and module so if you know the number of teeth of the gear and module we can easily find out what is caudal addendum okay so now with this relation we can easily uh, find out the caudal thickness using gear tooth vernier also gear tooth vernier so we have we know in gear tooth vernier we have two verniers one is horizontal another one is vertical okay so what we have to do now we have to set this caudal addendum value d in the vertical scale then we have to keep the jaw of the vernier on the gear so it will be exactly placed along that coordinate thickness line then whatever value you are getting in the horizontal scale that is nothing but caudal thickness you can see that clearly with the help of a picture please wait this uh, gear tooth vernier is shown on in this figure you can see it has one vertical scale another one is horizontal scale okay we have to first calculate the caudal addendum value and adjust this uh, vertical scale for the caudal addendum value okay so if when you are adjusting this um, vertical scale for the caudal addendum value this blade will be resting on the top land for the caudal addendum at a distance of caudal addendum from the gear to uh, the uh, from pitch circle of the gears okay so this jaw will be exactly positioned at the pitch circle that is why we are first calculating the caudal caudal addendum using the vertical scale then uh, when we place this jaw of the vernier on the tooth of the gear we will get the value in this horizontal scale so this is how we will calculate the gear to thickness using 
gear tooth vernier the problem with respect to this gear tooth vernier is that we will not be able to get this arc distance which is at the actual gear tooth thickness instead we will be measuring this linear distance okay so that is a one drawback with respect to gear tooth vernier so this is how uh, we have to find the relation and uh, for the caudal and num caudal thickness and using them we can cross verify the values of uh, caudal thickness from the gear to vernier also okay thank you